Hello Aquarius and welcome to your 2022 reading. So this will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. And we're going to look at the year ahead for you. Okay. So we're going to get a card for each month. I'm going to get those cards out and then I'll probably pull some clarifiers out and we'll go deeper. So let's jump right in and let's start with January. Let's get a card for January for Aquarius. Okay. First one jumping out is Nine of Wands. Okay. Maybe struggling to learn a lesson, feel a little offensive. We'll pull clarifiers in a moment. Um, I'm going to get all the months out first and then I will do the clarifiers. Let's get February. Okay, let's see what we got. The Fool. Okay, let's get March. Ten of Wands. Okay. Let's get April. Knight of Wands. Give me one second while I get these out, okay? Let's get uh, April, May. And, oh, we've got two. Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. Okay. Let's do this. Well, I think that's fine. And let's get June. All right. The Emperor. All right. July, almost through, halfway there, one second, guys, King of Cups, let's see, August, The Lovers, okay, September, The Magician, October, Queen of Cups, November, The Empress, and let's check those out, December. Okay, we got two. Okay. Five of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's jump in. Let's start with January. So we've got Nine of Wands. Is there some bitterness, some resentment, something I still feel defensive about? Might be heard about an argument, some words that somebody said something happened let's pull some clarifiers so we can dive deeper into this let's see okay all right let's see what we got two of cups yes this definitely has to do with somebody else we've got two people here somebody there's a lot of emotions from three of pentacle i'm sorry three of wands Ooh, might be yeah seven of swords because i would say might be wanting to depart from the friendship because there it is the deception the envy the Ooh, lies, cheating. Okay, there's a choice. So, yeah, here's what I'm feeling. Let me get this card here. Um, <clears throat> there is some energy of wrongdoing. Your hurt actions. Something that somebody did, said, or how they behave or acted, right? Um, left you upset. Left you hurt. So, now you're pondering the decision. What choice do I make? Should I walk away? Is this in alignment for me? Have I outgrown this friendship? Is this fair for me? Are they putting my needs, you know, um, are my needs be being met? It feels like there's a lot of evaluating how to move forward in this relationship. Um, I don't quite see you ending it, but there's thoughts about it, right? Because maybe your feelings aren't, be hurt, aren't being hurt or your needs aren't being met. And so I feel like you're taking some time to go within to get the answers to say, hey, is this right for me? What should I do? Right? And so there's a lot of pondering. Not leaving the relationship, but still kind of not 100% in it. Okay? So we'll see how that journey contends as, continues as we go on the rest of the year. Hold on a second. Let me get a sip of my little drink here. Okay. <clears throat> so for February, we have the Fool. A lot of trust energy there. Let's pull some clarifiers. Okay, yeah. Oh, I like this for you. Let me see if there's any more. I think we're good with those two. Let's see what else came. Okay, so the chariot, right? Ah, uh, yeah, nine of pentacles. Here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> positive movement forward. Not second guessing any decisions. Definitely filled with self-love, self-recognition, self-worth, knowing that you're on the right path. So if you had to get out of that relationship or in a friendship or make a, a turn in a partnership or something, 
Here you're standing firm in your decision. You feel very fulfilled within yourself, not needing to rely on others, not needing that validation. Definitely a sense of balance and trusting that whatever happened is for your highest and best. This is a really good place, right? Um, because with the Seven of Cups we had in January, right? That's that free will card that, hey, um, Oh, I was just getting something in and I just lost it. It's that energy. Oh, it's perspective, right? And so, hey, maybe even though this person had these actions, words, or anything against me, right? How I choose to move forward, because you definitely move forward, right? In the positive light is now a choice. And so you might have been pondering what to do, but now here you stand firm in your decision. You're, you're oh man, you might be leaving them behind, but you have a whole new journey here, right? A lot of trust, a lot of faith, but I think that faith is also restored in yourself. And so that's kind of how it enables you to go forward into the future. Okay, so for March, we have the Ten of Wands. Let's get some clarifiers. Okay, oh, okay. I feel like I want to get one more, but let's see. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Three of Swords. Wow. That's so interesting. Yeah, let me get one more because this could go. Let me see one second. I mean, that's the one you had all the hopes, the dreams, the wishes with, right? The the love of your life. But here's the devastation and here's the heartbreak. But with the 10, that's the ending. So maybe we're getting out of a relationship that I'm like, am I leaving this behind? Or did this just happen? That ending happened that now leaves me heartbroken. That's why I was like, which way are we going with this? Let me grab a clarifier. Did something flip. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the commitment energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Wow. 10 of Pentacles. But it is in reverse. And there's the Three of Pentacles. Okay. A lot of trying. A lot of trying. A lot of um, a lot of back and forth, though, honestly. And maybe that's how the relationship's been. Um, somebody that's been in and out of your life. Because I do feel there's a lot of back and forth with the Three of Pentacles. Not sure what to do. But things do come into the light here with the Hierophant. And you definitely know what to do. Because the ending's happening, whether... <clears throat> You know it, you like it or not. And here's the thing. Maybe what you thought you once wanted at one point is not what you need anymore. And that's fine because in that time and place, this served a purpose. And this was for you at that time. But maybe you outgrew the relationship and it's time to let it go because it's not serving your highest good. Look at what happened. You're carrying all this weight, this excess baggage that's not yours anymore. And it's blocking your happiness, right? And so you didn't know what to do. You've kind of been back in the air because maybe this person has been with you for some time. This is that commitment energy. But again, it does feel it's holding you back, right? So there is a call to kind of let it go. Let go what's no longer serving you. Could be a person, could be a place, could be a relationship, right? But I think you've been at this for some time. I think it's finally time to make that shift, okay? To, to, to let go what is no longer serving you. Okay, let's go into April. Knight of Wands. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. Wow, another knight came out. You guys can't see it. It flipped in the... Okay. But that's like feels compatibility. That's so interesting. This might be a... Gra Why does it feel like a graduation? Look at this. We go from Knight of Wands to Knight of Cups. But Ace of Cups is in the middle. And so this honestly feels like a new ignited passion regarding love, regarding emotions. And so sometimes we have to transition, it feels like, from the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Cups. But that could also be a person, right? Leaving one path or a place or thing, but leaving one passion behind or one passionate relationship, advancing to another, starting new. This feels like soul fulfillment, right? This feels like your higher self brought this person, place, or thing into your life. A lot of emotional fulfillment, reigniting that passion that maybe you lost in that old relationship, but now... It's like you're starting anew with something or someone else, right? And this is a beautiful energy to be in because your higher self has been guiding you to this moment. Okay, so that's April. Okay, let's jump into May and let's grab some clarifiers for the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. There's a little bit of blockages there. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Why do I feel something of the past? Temperance. It's interesting because when I was saying the King and Queen here, I was kind of thinking parental stuff, but going in with the baggage or ancestral um, 
blockages or stuff that was passed down from generations, right? Maybe noticing some subconscious programming from childhood. But whatever these blockages are, they feel like they're being addressed. So you could be doing some reprogramming of the subconscious mind. You might be getting some ancestral clearing. You might be working on um, cleansing yourself at a cellular level. But whatever this is, it definitely has to do with these two people, which I feel your parents. So that is upbringing right so that could be inner child healing but revisiting something of the past to cleanse refresh your energy that's why i was like i don't know if you're doing a cleanse or doing some fasting or you're getting some kind of clearing or some energy work on you but it's something from your childhood it could be a trauma or some programming but it feels like we're, we're clearing the energy of the of the past right back all the way from the first uh cycle of your life the beginning of your life okay so that's may let's go into june clarifying the emperor wow i feel you really standing firm tall true confident yeah knight of pentacles let me see knight of pentacles king of wands the emperor um i honestly feel a really good surrounding of faith um it's interesting i just heard the majority wins so i don't know if you're in like a disagreement with somebody or a group of people right and so maybe you guys need that unanimous vote i don't know if it has to do with something with work or trying to convince people to i don't know i just heard the example of something about buying a stock i don't know what that means but i think it's more something that might have to do with money we've got the pentacles here in the middle um but again it could just be work but there's something about a bunch of people coming into agreement on something and whatever side you're on, it feels like there's a win, win, you're, you have the win outcome. I don't know if that makes sense, but this feels like a bunch of people. This feels like you, but I don't know. I just feel a bunch of people around and trying to come to a decision, trying to come in unison, trying to come to agreement. It might just be you and one other person and you're trying to come up with the best decision for the kids on how to co-parent that's just kind of an example it could be something with work again money was coming up with the stocks and there was something about um the majority wins so i don't know if you have to take a shareholders vote or something i'm just throwing out some kind of examples because there is the energy of could be work could be money but again you could be doing some for the upbringing of kids or something it's that type of energy right negotiations right and we're trying the two sides the red the green the no the yes like red light green light right but again, whatever energy you're in, because this is the one I felt to you, it feels like it, it's not even just a compromise. It kind of feels like your energy kind of takes over and you kind of win. You must be the green light, right? Okay, so that's June. That's like that win-win. I don't know I keep saying win-win. I was going to say win-win forecast. But I guess, I don't know if they cave or what. But there's definitely your side. The outcome is a win, okay? All right, so let's go into July with the King of Cups. Let's see, let's get some clarifiers for the King of Cups. What came out? Page of Pentacles. Let's see. What else do we got? Six of Swords. Let me just get one more. Okay, or two. Let's see what we got here. Oop. Got my whole thing there. There we go. All right, King of Cups, ooh, Ace of Swords, Clarity Truth. This might be a breakthrough. Oh, yeah, Tower in Reverse. Why did I feel reversal of decision? Page of Pentacles, it could be revisiting something of the past. Six of Swords, yeah, it's time to go back to readdress something, probably with another person. Here's what it kind of feels like. The Ace of Swords, you thought something was true. You followed your heart with it. You made this decision, and you're going forth with this energy. All of a sudden, there's this turn of events, and I don't think you knew the whole truth. I think you thought you knew what was going on, but you didn't have all the information. And so it kind of feels like, oh, I have that last piece of the puzzle, and it's not what I thought. I thought you were doing this. I assume this is what happened, whatever it is. But there might even be a conversation. Whatever sheds the light into what information you are missing, it feels like you kind of get that information, and... You kind of want to go back to revisit something. Could be a conversation with somebody, right? Because there's definitely somebody's energies attached here. 
And so you could be going back to the past. An ex could be coming back. I'm not sure what this past is, but whatever it is, something shines light and truth on what you thought you knew. But now you find out the rest of the story or the whole truth. And you're like, whoa, I shouldn't have assumed. This isn't what I thought. And so it's going to lead to a big conversation, most likely with somebody else, right? So we're revisiting maybe some feelings, whatever kind of caused that tower moment, right? Because these all came in reverse. So we have to go back. Now that we know the truth, right? So somebody could be coming back into your life now. Determination. A lot of determination. I think that's more on the other person's side, though. <clears throat> okay, so that was July. Let me sip of this. Sip of this one. Okay. So we'll go into August with the lovers. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers. Ooh, jumping right out. Eight of Swords came out in reverse. Oh, wow. The world and the Ten of Cups. Okay. All right. So if this is a lover that got brought back, because remember, it was something from the past. Hold on a second. Let me just get situated. Um, Right? Because now we do have the lovers. They are coming forth. This is that happy home life. Maybe, oh, removing those limiting beliefs on them, okay? Here's the world, things coming to completion, things coming, a lot of great knowledge with that. I don't know, I feel happiness, joy, and contentment with this. So I want to say, right, if you're getting back with a, with an ex, if we're revisiting, if that's the lover coming forth from the past, make sure going forward you don't hold any past resentments with them, right? You let all that stuff go so you can start anew to the new happy home life, right? Because that cycle ended. They've gone through some death rebirth. You've gone through some death rebirth. You guys are brand new people. So remember going in the relationship, not to throw the past against them, not to bring up the past and just to have that healthy, fresh start because it feels like two brand new energies, right? And so again, what you once thought you knew maybe wasn't the truth. So we can't hold on to those bitterness and resentments bring into this new relationship, right? This feels like a very dynamic, fresh start. A lot of passion there. Yeah, I definitely feel we're talking about a love interest. Okay. All right. So, July, August, we're at September with the Magician. I mostly feel work energy from that, but let's get some clarifiers. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's see what we got. Yeah, okay, there it is. There we go, perfect. Okay, so first thing I was feeling was money, new beginnings, right? But here's the thing. Okay, yeah, there it is. This could be collaborations, working with multiple people. Um, maybe if you need help from others, don't be afraid to ask for help. But other people are involved in making this some, some decisions, probably bringing in money, definitely bringing in a sense of balance, right? Um, you may have a fear that it's too soon to start a project or you're not ready, but I feel you are with the magician here. So if you have this imposter syndrome, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, it's too soon, I'm not ready. I feel these small, it's time to take a small action step and then you're going to move forward because the magician here is saying, I got you. Right now is the time. You have definitely supportive people. If you're not doing a collaboration with people, there's supportive people all around you that got your back. You could be getting some financial aid assistance, but something right? It's time to start something with the career, take a project off, uh, do a partnership with other people, or you're launching something, something with work, some kind of shift. And there's other people around either to help you or support you, but they definitely are saying now's the time, right? The magician just wants you to take one little action step in that direction of new. Okay. So that is September. Let's get some clarifiers for October with the Queen of Cups. Wow, jumping right out. Oh, thank God you took those action steps. Look at victory and success. Wow, everybody's here, got their eyes on you. You are in the flow state. Everything is amazing. Communication, news, travel, money, pat, thought, positive movement forward. This is you in the flow. Ooh, connected to all the elements of nature. Thank God you took that action step. You are seeing results. Money could be coming in. People are, you could be booking clients, whatever it is. But this is positive movement forward, victory and success. Yes, yes, yes. Good for you. Things are taking off in your favor. Okay. 
So that's what, what are we on? October, right? Yeah, September, October. So now we're on November with the Empress for Aquarius. Oh, that was sure a lot of cards. Okay, we'll take them. Let me see. Very interesting. Okay, so we've got the Empress. I don't know why I feel letting go of self-doubt with that. But there, there's the karma. Karma can be good and bad. Let me see. Nine of Swords, Fears, Anxieties, The Hanged Man. Getting unstuck, unfrozen in time. Yeah, because there's the new. Okay, so here's what I want to say. You might have some lingering fears. I'm not sure what this fear, this is anxiety is, but it's got you stuck for some time, right? It could be dealing with your self-worth, what you want to create, what you want to start anew, but it's time to let go of those. The justice is coming in to say, let's transmute, let's transmute this bad karma into good karma. Working on one's self-worth, getting unstuck from all of these dilemmas, roadblocks. Definitely starting anew, but you might have to face something of the past. Maybe a self-limiting belief. Maybe something that's blocking your happiness here, right? Because the co-creation energy is here saying now is the time, especially with the ace. So we might be really diving into one self-worth right their mindset so we can move forward into these new energies that are definitely calling forth all around you yeah look out for the 10th there might be a big change around the 10th but let me go into december okay 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 let's see i feel like i needed one more card let's see okay yeah let me get i feel like i needed just one more card oh we got two fives there there it is thank you all right all right. Oh, very interesting. All right. So the first thing I want to see is we've got two fives here, right? Fives are change numerology, but we need to be healing to let go of any, any pain, conflict, drama, any fighting, right? So we can heal because it's only hurting us if we're holding on to resentment. This is calling for forgiveness, right? Maybe you're even seeing things from a higher perspective, meaning that I now understand why things happening that hindsight 2020 because there's this energy of your shadow coming up with the devil okay and so I think that yeah this is that higher perspective and it took you a while to figure this out okay so it's easy to stay in that victim mentality meaning they did this to me why did this happen to me I don't understand the why and all it does is cause the conflict and defeat and the only one is being affected is you but whatever's been happening with somebody else it's not they did it to you this is happening for you from your higher self so there is the energy of forgiveness coming in so you can move forward right you had to face some stuff of your chat your shadow but now you're ready to transcend that because you have a little bit of an awakening moment here and um forgiveness is key you're on this healing journey here or you're finally letting go. You could be closing up the ceiling, right? Okay. All right. All right. And that is December. So that will wrap up your 2022 reading for Aquarius. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. And if you got anything out of this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button this way. I know you got something that resonated. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and there's a bell too. I want you to hit the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos and I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message you need to hear today. All right, my loves. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, be blessed.